Hey guys, I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on my latest update to my trip. So, here we go, it's all done. It's all wired up. It's uh, got lights on it, raw LED lights, and it is now officially registered in the state of California. So, I'll give you some more details on that in the next video, but for now I'm just gonna do a quick little vlog and show you what I worked on last night. So, I put in an order on Monday. Wednesday I got something in the mail, I was very happy and I took the time out last night to install it. Um, Eric told me it would take about an hour to do, but uh, I managed to do it on my back all alone without any help in about two and a half hours. And uh, as it being my first time installing uh, their version of this, uh, I think it went pretty well. Um, I had my own diffuser that I installed at my old place of work. I recently gave that to another member of the forum here. Uh, it worked really well on the freeway with my old one i averaged about 28 and a half miles per gallon and without it for the you know this week i was averaging around 25 and a half so it, it's really they make a significant difference in how the car handles its speed as well as with your mileage so let me uh without further ado introduce you to what i'm talking about this is my velox motorsports rear diffuser hopefully you can see it it is right there, integrated right below my wonderful Slambert trailer hitch. And I have it mounted up as high as I possibly can. I used the small spacers uh, just because I needed a little bit of space towards the front. When I installed this guy, I also got the front under panels. Um, they fit wonderfully well. I unfortunately have a custom built mandrel bent exhaust system which you can check out on my channel as well um, and it is really close to the diffuser there it's basically touching um, once the car warms up interestingly enough though it doesn't touch anymore i'm guessing the heat causes the metal to change uh, you know to expand and contract and and it moves it enough so it's not on the diffuser once the car is warm which is odd but you know yay uh, so anyways, I had to, you know, make a couple changes. I had to cut the diffuser over here by the opening. Unfortunately, I'm not very happy about that, but, you know, maybe I'll change up my exhaust here in the future. I like it a lot. It sounds phenomenal, and uh, I think I did a really good job designing and building it. But this is where I want to get to uh, talk to you a little bit more in depth. The front under panels fit wonderfully into the JDM under panels. My car is a 2015 series blue, so it does have the full JDM under body panels. And all you have to do is trim it very slightly. There is a horizontal line which runs parallel to the bottom of the JDM under panel. And then on the inside, you can't really get a good angle on here. But on the inside, there's another line where the panel comes up and fortunately you only have to make a straight cut and it literally looks stock I was shocked with how well this fit together with the JDM under panels especially considering Velox was very specific about it not being designed to work with them I think it was and I think it does by far the most difficult part of getting this guy installed is this right here that's your e-brake cable mount and when you install the front underbody panels they bolt into the stock e-brake cable mount with a bolt that passes through a large spacer that took me a long time to get aligned uh, it was kind of a bear uh, once I figured out how to do it without having a third hand the other side went in in like five minutes but this side probably took me half an hour 30 minutes to do but anyways uh, fits wonderfully Fit and finish is phenomenal. Came shipped extremely well. I know there was talk with the early models having a couple of shipping issues with UPS bending the uh, the strakes, but mine came wonderfully packed and I think it just looks phenomenal on my car. And I hope that it is gonna help me maintain relatively decent and manageable gas mileage on my trip across the country. So here's Series blue, my BR Azul, if you will, and my roommate's a DC2 Integra build. That thing is a GSR on the outside and in the inside, but under the hood and underneath, except for the uh, 
four bolts PCD on the hubs. This thing's all ITR and it is fully built. It's a monster. The last motor made just just over 200 wheel and this one's probably going to make even more. NA. But here we go. Here's my trailer. Ready to go. Let's get out of here. And I will update you guys more a little later this week. Thank you. Have a great day.